Greetings and welcome back to Astro Colony. Today we are going to look into the mystical art of farming. Because I couldn't help but notice with all the automation that I actually do have at the moment, I don't have the feeding of my scientists quite automated. As a matter of fact, when I was on the previous island and I was very busy, I came back, I checked, and they had like five tonics left. And there are three of them, so I could see a fist fight coming over the last couple there. And that's probably something I should do something about. Especially considering the fact that I have to use quartz. And quartz is kind of important for other things, you know, like glass. I mean, these tubes over here, if I ever get serious, I'm going to need a lot of quartz for those. And, you know, this new planetoid that I'm on, I have a lot of things automated over here at the moment. As you can see, lots of bots going on. These guys are doing uh, copper over here. You can see there's like a mix of things. These guys are doing titanium. And, of course, the reason I came here, iron. I have some iron gathering over here. It's a nice big chunk. I think that's like 5,000 there, by the way. And there's two chunks of iron around here. These guys are very busy. They got 1,600 so far and a lot to go. You know what I have not found here? I have not found one single spawn of quartz. I have found some of the stone blocks. By the way, this is wood. If I go down here and I do this, I get wood. And the only thing I know to do with wood at the moment is to take it over to the saw and drop it in here. And of course, it'll saw it into planks. Um, I'm just going to do that for now. I don't want to chop too many of them down because it looks kind of nice. When I leave, I will decimate it. But we're not leaving just yet. Anyway, that's kind of the situation. I mean, I do have a little bit of a backlog right there. Uh, they got 24 here, which means they probably have 50 over there because the transport bot is very good with that. But the thing is, I only have a limited amount, and I don't like the fact that I have to concentrate on that. I kind of want it to happen naturally. And I do believe that that is what farming is all about. So I figured, you know what, let's give it a try. Now, I do understand that part of the process is going to require me getting another human, a cook. So I think since that is kind of like a time-sensitive thing, why don't we do that first? So I do believe I have another dock anyway. You know, it's funny. There is an advanced docking station, and I can't for the life of me think of what would be advanced about it. I mean, should I take a look at that? You know, I probably do have the... Uh, the science available for this so why don't we just check it out there it is right there it only uses basic science anyway right yeah so i mean it doesn't really cost very much so let's just do that and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the old one down and i'm going to upgrade it because i do happen to have one in inventory all right let's see okay docking station we'll put that there all right so that's done and then i'm going to go over to it i'm going to get that out of the way and then I'm going to hit you to upgrade it. And it's upgraded. I mean, is it faster or something? All right, I need an astronaut. Okay, is that a coincidence that he was just showing up at this, that moment? I'm going to have to go back and look in the log. Okay, first things first. Are you one of the people who left me behind? I don't think so. All right, so your mission in life is going to be cook, but no ordinary cook. All right, so I do believe this... Per oh, I forgot something rather important. Yes, I don't have another hibernation station. Let's do that immediately before this person um, has issues. Right there. I think right there should be fine. It's not blocking the lane or anything like that. Gives me, I guess, space to put another one in if when I need an engineer. All right, so that's good. We're going to have a cook. No ordinary cook. All right, so I put the bot system over here. And by the way, yes, the bots will use this to go out. So there was no problems with that. So they just don't like the little one, apparently. All right, let's take a look at what we got available. Uh, farming. Okay, so we have a farm. Okay, that's kind of generic. And then we have farm land. All right, so let's try a barn. I guess that's when you have animals. 
You get a barn. All right, we're not doing that yet. All right, so let's go with the farm and see what it's got. Oh, it has a water input. All right, I'm going to have to make another water system then, I think. Okay, so we got power. We need power. Let's say rotate it a little bit or something like that. Um, trying to see where would be the best way to do this. Because I think if this needs power, we're probably going to need something else that has power too. All right, you know what? Face that way. If we have to move it, we'll move it, right? All right, we'll just do this for now. And I need room. Because I'm probably going to need a lot of water for this. All right, we'll just leave it there if we need to. Okay, what is that? Oh, plant selection. Okay, I could grow trees or wheat. Well, obviously, we want to feed somebody, so that's what we're going to do. All right, and it did ask for a farmer. I'm pretty sure that the farmer, yeah, right, all right. Well, we're not there yet. All right, so I have to work on the water situation first. So let's work on the water situation. I'm going to need another ice cutter over here. And I think the kitchen is probably going to need water, too, if this needs water. So let's just uh, work on utilities. All right. Can I just, like, do this? Like this. Big old thing with water. Big old thing. Let me just think about this. I mean, we could put the kitchen, like, here. I'm thinking maybe we put the icebreaker over here. All right, so the icebreaker and the icebreaker, we might as well just plug it right in like that. I guess that'll be fine. All right, we're going to have to, of course, give it power, but I want to do that underneath. So what I'm going to do is we're going to look at this and we're going to pop that out. And then we're going to look at this and we're going to pop that one out. All right, I wired them here. I ran the line over there so it's all nicely under there. All right, so we might as well start loading this up as quickly as possible. You can see I have no shortage of ice. So, I mean, I think we can probably throw a very nice little chunk of that in there. I'm thinking we can just go the full like 300 or something like that uh, because I do have a lot of space here and I might as well just fill it up because we are talking about farming and farming is probably going to need a lot. It doesn't have the water yet. It will have the water in a moment. Okay, so I think we should see about the farmland, I guess. Let's go back over to here. Where is it? Uh, farming. Farmland. Okay, it doesn't have the water yet. Do I actually have to put a pipe in for that? All right, so let's see here. I'm guessing that I kind of like draw a farm next to it. I don't know how far it's going to support it. Let's go with that and see how that works. All right. You're not getting any water? No, you are getting water. You're just not full yet. Okay, then why are you still asking for water? All right, so I think the next thing we need is a... Um, we need a farmer, don't we? All right, so we'll turn this fellow on, and then we'll grab one and see how he does. Still not quite sure why this one's got a problem. It's got 40 water stored in it. Maybe, okay, maybe it's confused because I haven't picked a crop yet. I have no idea. This has 45 water in it. So it's going to fill up over time. Oh, how are you doing? Okay, he, that's a different color, right? Right, right. Okay, so I guess you finished the education process. Congratulations. He graduated or she graduated. I couldn't really tell. I think it was a he. It was an elder person. That much is true. But then they, they might have a lot of experience going their way. Okay, what is your problem? You got 60 water stored in you. Oh, we have a bot. Okay, we have a bot. All right, I think the only thing left here now is to select a crop, and we're going to do wheat. Oh, there he goes. Oh, 
okay. De- oh, for a minute there, I thought he fell to his death. He went off, like went off the edge, and I thought, he, okay, is he doing that? I guess maybe he's going back in to get water and seeds. It's just a little bit weird that he looks like he's going underneath there, you know? Okay, he is planting crops there now, isn't he? Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. So I guess we should probably start beginning the process of converting whatever he's going to give us into something that can be food. So let's go back over here because I think we're going to device and I'm guessing kitchen. So let me just put it there. All right, so that should start getting water there. And it is getting water. Okay, now you have power, but you still don't have anything to do. I mean, he is preparing his workstation, so that's good. All right, now here's my question. There's an input over here, which is not really very convenient, I suppose. Is the grain going to get stored on the inside? Because, I mean, we don't have any yet. So I guess we're probably just going to have to wait until we actually have some grain. Okay, you make yourself comfortable. Uh, I do believe we have a lot of tonic in the meantime, right? Yeah, we have 51. And I think there's still some more over here. Yeah, there's still 16 over here. I just don't want to do any more of that. That's all. Here's something that I was thinking. You know, if this thing runs out, then I also have a problem. So I'm wondering, can we automate having the bots load this up? Because I do have a supply of, where is it right here? Of ice right here. It's constantly going to be showing up. I mean, from now on, maybe I grab everything but the ice and just leave the ice in here. And maybe a bot can come over here, grab it, and run it back over here if it gets low. I think that's something you can actually do. We're probably going to need a lot of transport bots for this, by the way. All right, how are we doing? Okay, a couple of them have grown up. Do we have any? We still don't have any grain. Okay, I know, little guy, you're doing the best you can, but we are going to... Oh, is that grain? Did, did we get... I think we got some wheat. I think we got some wheat. You want to pick that, dude? All right, grab it. Okay, he got it, he put it in, and there be grain. Okay, so the wheat grew, and it was converted into grain. Here's what I'm thinking. Ironically, the cook has, is hungry, right? I'm thinking we look at this. Transport bot request. I'm not sure if it works this way, but can I tell it to bring, is it over here on the list? There it is, grain. In other words, bring it here. So where is the bot? Here's the bot. Okay, so is he going to do that? That's exactly what he did. And he has a second one too. I guess one of them is in the process already, but it's waiting for the cook. All right, let's take a look. Right, that's it. So this is going to be our first bread. Okay, we have some bread, and then he's working on the second one now. Okay, so how are we doing over here? I mean, there are a couple here that look like they're going to be ready soon. Did he bring any more? I know there was a bot over here. Oh, I think what the bot did... Wait a minute. He's bringing the bread to the caffeine. Yeah, you can see the other one there, right? Okay, so the process has begun. And it looks like there's some more over there. All right, here's the thing. I think in this situation, we might need more transport bots. So let's make a couple. I mean, we might as well just have them going crazy all over the place, right? All right, I'm thinking, why don't we go with three? More, that is. They're waiting for something to do. 
But that's okay. They'll be ready when the time comes. Okay, it looks like they're all, they're all waiting for it. Okay, are you guys waiting for the grain to show up? And there's more bread. These guys got a big uh, surprise coming their way, huh? Instead of the tonic they've been having the whole time, they now have bread. All right, so here's what I would like to do also. At the moment, it's not a problem, but I'm thinking that why don't we have them get ice? Can I increase that? Reset default. Can I select? All right, I guess maybe it's just 50 and there's nothing you can do about it. Hold on a minute. Because I'd like to change these numbers, but I think that's probably just it. When the number drops under 50, they're going to get some ice. And like I said, they can just go over here to get ice from this because this is always going to have ice in it because I'm not going to take it out. That means that this is always going to have water. It's up to 195. And the farm will always be able to go. Maybe I put one too many in. He got the bread that time. Okay, I do believe that we have farming going here. So is the amount of bread building up? There's three there now. You know, there's tonic in there if there is a bit of a problem. But like I said, the situation is, I think at this point, I can just count them as being fed. I'll look at it every once in a while. And yeah, they do seem to be just working in a small area here. I don't see anything growing here. It seems that it grows, he cuts it, brings the grain in, and basically then, look, replants it. So these guys down here really are not getting much. So you probably don't really need a big section to work with. I think even a 4x4 four four would probably be too much. But I mean, it's something you can experiment with. I mean, it is territory here. I could probably cut a big portion out here. But then again, I didn't really know how that was going to work. But we are getting the grain. We are getting the bread. And it is being handled. And I have a feeling if this guy goes down, then my bots are going to work very hard to refill it with ice. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump over here. And of course, these other bots are also doing the job very well. How much copper do you have? 1,800. How much titanium? Uh, coming up on 1,900. How much of the iron here? 2,200. And of course, we have this one coming up on 2,000. Thing is, I don't really have to automate the transfer of that stuff because it's all going to be one big pile. You know, I know that uh, some people who play this game make big, elaborate conveyor belt things and such like that. But here's the thing. I don't think this game really calls for that, at least at this point. I know that a game like Satisfactory kind of does, but then again, it has different requirements to it. In Satisfactory, a lot of the time you're trying to feed the elevator. The elevator is going to be what raises you up to the next tier of things that you can unlock. And usually it's extremely expensive and they're deeply complex parts. You know, parts that you don't want to actually do manually. It'll say like 500 of these really complex parts. You have to build a factory for that because otherwise you'll be going crazy. So far, nothing like this actually exists in this game. I mean, you could say that maybe the laboratory is the equivalent of the elevator, right? But the thing is, you really don't need a lot of complex things in order to throw things together, you know? I mean, if you look at the space right here, motherboards. Motherboards aren't too hard to do, and, you know, you don't really need a lot of space science, too. Something like biology, I mean, I can automatically make a lot of carbon fiber, and then all I need is oxygen tanks. So, you know, I don't have oxygen tanks on me at the moment. We're a little low, so let me go over to here. And let me just do this. And I'll take half of them, and we'll put this over here. 
And then I'll pop back over here and I'll say, do I want biology? Yeah, just throw some biology in there. So I'm going to get a bunch of biology science for that. You didn't need to do some big complex thing, you know. And in terms of gathering these guys, I have them all in here. I do use conveyors and the transport tubes for that. And I'm going to get my uh, ice for these guys over here. How's it going? Yeah, he just seemed to be working like around that area. Not here at all. So I could probably just get rid of this stuff completely. As long as the food is flowing, that's what matters. And as long as they're carrying it around. How's this going now? Okay, we have seven foods. So we're, it's actually starting to build up. So I can probably just ignore them and hopefully they won't starve to death. Uh, unlike people in another game I'm playing. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. So I just wanted to look at farming and see if we could get it going to automatically feed our colonists. And it does seem to be working pretty darn well. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.